Hey y'all, welcome back to Walking in Worship and I am excited and we are qualified. IYDK, YDK, if you don't know, you don't know and if you don't know, check out episode number one and you will understand why I say we are all qualified. Now, I'm a grassroots kind of person and so we're going to start from the beginning all the way up to being in the throne room in the presence of the Lord. So let's start with Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. I beseech ye brethren by the mercies of God to present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind to prove that good acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes, Romans 12, 1 and 2. I'm going to put the scriptures again at the end of the video. Be ye transformed. Don't be conformed to this world. Don't be shaped by, don't be conformed to this world. But be transformed by mind renewal. And one of the best ways to be transformed and for your mind to be renewed is through worship. Now, worship is a spiritual discipline. Spiritual disciplines are tools that God has given us to transform us, to mature us, to get us where we need to be, and to keep us where we need to be. Things like prayer and fasting and studying and, of course, worship. And depending on who you ask, there are anywhere between five and seven and even 20 disciplines. And I will list them at the end of the video. But worship is one of those disciplines that's used a lot of times with other disciplines. When you pray, you may worship. You might worship before you pray, worship after you pray. When you study, you may get that revelation that throws your hand up and you may start worshiping. If you are fasting, hopefully you are worshiping and you are praying and you are doing something other than just giving up food. That's not a fast. Anyway, so worship goes along with and it accompanies some of the other uh, disciplines. And worship transforms us through the access that it gives us to God. In the Old Testament, the access was through the judges or the priests or the prophets or the law. In the New Testament, when Jesus was walking the earth, then access was given through him. But now that we have the Holy Spirit, our access to God is given spirit to spirit. And so what you need to understand is our spirit again connects with the Holy Spirit and we have access to God. And through that access, anytime we're in the presence of the Lord, we are going to be transformed. That's my word for this week. Transformation. Be ye transformed by the access that we have through worship. So you have your homework. You need to gain Access to God through worship. It's like, you know, Batman's bat signal. When we need him, we start to worship. So why don't you go ahead and start worshiping the Lord? Just, just open up your mouth and say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. Lord, there is no one like you. Start to speak well of the Lord. Start to speak well of him and understand that's going to bring you the access that's going to bring you the truth transformation. May the grace of Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. See you next time on Walking in Worship.